Welcome back to Beaumont's Home Kitchen. Today we're making tenderloin roast. Let's do it. And the first thing I do, so I want to get a nice sear on it. So I, I tap and dry, get all the blood off there. You get a better sear. So we're going to season it up. Some salt and be generous with the salt. It'll burn off a good amount on all sides. Some pepper, pepper, pepper. Go like this. We sear it up. Put some oil into the pan. Good amount. Medium higher fire. Heat the pan up. Pan's nice and hot. And with the roast, you want to hear the sizzle. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good sear. Okay. You want to sear all sides. A nice filet mignon roast or tenderloin roast. Other side. Looking good. Let's see that color. That's a good, that's a good sear. All right. Good sear. Last side. See that beautiful sear? Mmm. Toss the roast into a pan, the grease pan. And for the roast, all we're going to add is a little bit of chicken stock all over. So we have a bit of gravy. Toss in a 350 degree oven for about 45, 55 minutes. We're going to check it in 45. Just pull our beef tenderloin roast out of the oven. It was about 35 minutes and it's all, the temperature is perfect. So we want a medium. So around 165, perfect to medium. Well, that's the way I like my roast. So we're going to let it rest and sauce. And I got the roast pan there. Okay, with all the juices in there. So we saute some onions and shallots. Heat that pan up. Oil, let that heat up. Shallots in. Saute the shallots up for a minute or so. A thousand cloves of garlic. This is just a very simple pan sauce. Saute the garlic for a minute or so until it becomes fragrant. Grab our roast pan, the same pan we did the roast in. She got up. Yeah, we can toss the garlic and shallots right in there and wait until everything starts to bubble a little. It's all getting happy there. Deglaze with some red wine. Deglaze the pan, let the alcohol cook out for a few minutes. Don't think this little pan sauce will need much. It's going to reduce it down and at the same time cooking alcohol out because because when you do a roast, there's always the lovely fond on the bottom of the pan plus a few juices in there. So make a really nice gravy. Very simple. Slice into it and give it a taste with the sauce. Mm. Sauce is reducing nicely. Sauce is reduced down nice. We're just going to add a touch of butter, finish the sauce. And that's how easy it is to make a pan sauce. Mm. So what I'm going to do with the sauce is just to add my own little flavor to it is a little bit of thyme and sage pepper taste your sauce before you serve a little bit of truth check the doneness oh yeah looking good nice medium to slash medium well roast kind of the way i like it peace there and if you want more of a medium you can do it for less time pan sauce on top and that's so easy as to make a beef tenderloin roast mm. let's give our beef tenderloin roast a try looking good cheers Mmm, it's so good though. Thanks for watching Beaumont's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, love you, and do me some beef tenderloin roast. Mmm, this is my dinner pie.